Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here. And this video that I'm creating is the start of a series that I'm going to share with you. Because it's coming from my heart, because it's coming from my experience. I've been on a journey for a while. And I know that part of my opportunity to help out is to share the journey with people like you. So you've done the hardest part is just showing up and just watching this video and allowing me without a script, without an agenda, without anything prepared, share from you from my heart, share from you from my soul, share from you from my experience, where everything is from, coming from. I believe that the first step that we're going to take is to find out where you're at. When you're going to go on a journey, when you're going to take a trip, the first place to start is to find out where you're at. And based on where you're at, then get an idea of where you want to go. And once you have an idea of where you want to go, the journey begins. It begins a step at a time. You took a first step today, so I appreciate that. One of the ways of paying attention to knowing where we're at is to realize that our lives are made up of nine environments. There are nine facets that make up our life. Those are yourself, your spirituality, however you choose to see that, the nature that's around us, your physical self, your body, and how you feel, your financial foundation, your job, your income, what you do for a living, your network, all the people that you know, all the people that you're connected to. The other environments are your relationships that you have with people, family, loved one, intimate partner, the relationships you have in your life, and your body. Your body. What's going on with your body and itself? All of these are parts of you and make up who you are. And just like a spider web, all of these nine environments are related to each other. In a spider web, if you touch any one of the pieces of the web, doesn't it create a vibration all throughout the web? Such in the same way, all these nine environments, when one of these is lower or higher, it affects the other environments. It can bring it down or bring it up. So to be aware is to be aware of the nine environments in your life. These make up the context of our lives. The context of our lives is that which holds us together. That which holds us together is holding the content. The content will always be different. The content will always change in our lives. But what will be constant is the context and those things that hold it together. In the context, we are responsible. We are able to respond to the things that are going on in our lives. So you and I have the ability to respond, to be able to respond negatively, positively. That is our opportunity. We are also capable. We are beautiful beings. You are an absolutely beautiful being. We are capable in the context of our lives. And we are contributing constantly to realize this, to be aware of this, that we are always contributing to the context of our lives, is to begin to be aware of where we are at. Then we can begin to make choices about the context of our life and where we're at. So the homework I want to give you is to be aware. There's a video by Brandon Bouchard called Overcoming Fear. Take a moment and watch that video. I think you'll really enjoy some of the things in to become aware of what's going on in your life. So when things are challenging, when things aren't quite going the way that you want them to, when you can feel inside that it's just not quite right, when you feel inside that something's not quite the way you want it to, don't stress, don't get angry, don't battle it. Be aware. Just be aware and breathe. And the other opportunity is listen. Listen. Truly listen to the context of your life. Truly listen to those things which are changing. Truly listen to those nine environments and be aware. Take a moment and write those down in a journal and see what you find. That's your homework. We'll see you on the next video. I'm Brian Tarr. Thanks for watching.